What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Trey. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is kind of an, um, an impromptu video. I didn't plan on recording this particular topic, um, but I'm going to go ahead and record this for you guys. Um, as you see in the title, um, it's kind of it's a video I've actually done before, but we're going to revisit this topic because it has happened again. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back to the video. I am here with my ball python um, in Baku. Um, I'm with him because he is the one that got away from me yesterday. Um, I actually wake up yesterday morning, go through my morning routine. I'm logging in for work. Um, I usually do, um, when I'm working, I usually have my computer set up in my reptile room. And I have a little area where I just sit in the reptile room to get work done because sometimes I have to do calls and it gets a little noisy out there with the baby. So I have a little area where I can just come, get my work done, be left alone basically. So I noticed um, that he had a little bit of stuck shed on his tail. Um, the rest of it was gone, but literally like this back half here still has some shed on it. So I decided to soak him, put him in his bin, um, and I was just letting him sit for uh, you know, a little while um, just so it can come off. Um, 10 minutes later, someone's at the door. Um, I forgot um, we had to call the maintenance guy because one of our outlets weren't working. So we called the maintenance guy. He comes over, he's looking to the outlets. I'm hanging out, chilling. Um, Baku's still in the tub. So I thought, <laughs> doing his thing. And um, maintenance guy's probably here 25 minutes tops. He finally gets done and I come back in to go to get back to work. The tub is still there, obviously, but the lid is off. Immediately, I'm like, oh, shoot. You know, where did he go? So, needless to say, it took me, um, what would you say, Mbaku? How long were you out? Probably seven hours. Um, now, the one thing I can say, um, as you guys know before, um, my uh, Skeletus Texas Rat Snake has gotten out before twice and each time he has gone to the closet. So of course I'm tearing the closet apart because I'm hoping M'Baku is just like Qbert and that's where he went. Um, unfortunately, um, it's not where he went, but he is somewhat bigger. He's definitely girthier than Qbert, uh, but he's bigger than um, Qbert as well. So I wasn't worried that he got out the room and even then, um, there's no way he would have gotten out the room without me seeing him the way my apartment is set up. Um, so, lo and behold, um, I ended up um, getting off work. I go to the gym. I come back. You guys know these guys are extremely, at least in Baku, but for the most part, ball pythons are usually known to be nocturnal. So, I come in here. My timer shut all the lights off. It's like 10 o'clock. So, I wait about 30 minutes, and lo and behold, this guy was literally under his enclosure the whole time you guys see the rack behind me um this is his enclosure um i don't know if you guys can see it but right down here there's like a little shelf area and it's just like a um a metal gate which everything sits on so he can get through it but he couldn't come back out so i literally had to pull his enclosure off the shelf and put him back in his enclosure so that was easy but the topic for today is what you should do in case your snake gets loose. I've actually been seeing a lot of this on Facebook, Instagram. Um, a lot of people have been just asking the question, my snake is out, what should I do? Um, the first thing that I like to do or not do is don't panic. Um, I know with me having a baby, a lot of people are like, how can you not panic? Um, you guys have to understand, um, me personally, my collection, all of my snakes, yes, they're snakes. I know what snakes are capable of, but you gotta understand these guys are not killers. They're they're not, it's not something that I'm worried about because um, if it was, then it wouldn't be here, period. Um, so number one, do not panic. Um, number two um, is gonna be, you have to really think like a snake. Um, and what I mean by that is, think about what snakes are into. Um, think about um, where they would hide, think about in the wild or just your education of snakes, what they look for when they're loose. Um, 
obviously the first thing I think about is a good hiding spot, especially ball pythons. These guys are terrestrial and they like to burrow. Um, so I've checked all my shoes, checked my clothes. Like I said, I was checking my closet because that's where Qbert was. Um, so definitely think like a snake. Um, number three, um, think about how you're, um, you know, before we get to that actually, number three should be look for clues. Um, so in Baku's enclosure, I noticed that there's an outlet right here. Well, you guys can see, there's an outlet right here that controls all of the top row lights, um, but it sits on top of his enclosure. Now that was actually knocked down. So when he slithered out, um, he slithered out the back and he must have slithered on the um, outlet and knocked it down. So um, that was clue number one. So me, essentially, I was thinking he climbed somewhere. These guys aren't known to be climbers, but will they climb if given the opportunity? Yes. Um, and it's a snake in general. Um, they're very strong animals. Um, I don't care what, what type of snake it is. Um, I don't put it past them at all. Um, so definitely look for clues. Look where the snake may have gone, may have went. Um, things knocked over, anything like that. Um, I'm checking any heat sources, um, dark places, anything. Um, because they always end up in places you never think. Um, and if we thought of these places, we would probably find our snakes a lot easier um, than we normally do. Um, like I said, when Qbert was missing, he was gone for two weeks. Luckily, this guy wasn't in a full day. Um, but the good thing I'm grateful for is that it wasn't out of his enclosure. It was just me being careless, trying to get him a bath um, or let him soak. And I kind of just, I didn't forget about him. I know he was in here. I just didn't think to secure the tub like I should have. Um, number four, um, think of the layout of your apartment. Um, check the vents. Are there, if there are vents on the floor, you can possibly, you know, get to another apartment. Um, anything that can lead outside is definitely going to want to be something you check immediately. Um, because if it gets outside, um, depending on where you live, I, I, don't, I live in Ohio, the weather right now is perfect, but when it gets to winter, it's not going to like it. So, um, vents, um, anything outside, any cracks or crevices that they can hide in, because um, you all know snakes can go a pretty long time um, without eating anything. So, um, if they find that perfect spot um, and they want to hide in there, you'll, you'll never know they're in there until they decide to come out. So, another thing that you possibly should do, um, or not possibly, at least in my case, I had a pretty general idea of where um, Mbaku was the entire time so I made sure um, that I secured off the room. I kept the door closed and I actually have a door stopper on my door that's how I know for a fact he can't get out. Um, although it's carpet I know what I have in here just for situations like this. I wanted to make sure that he could not get under that door. I know he can't fit under it but snakes surprise us every day and I, didn't, I just don't want to take that chance for him or any of my uh, snakes because I have as you guys see in the last video, the Mexican black king snake is pretty small, so he could definitely fit under that door, no issue. Um, so I wanted to make sure that that was not as easy for him. Um, so secure the premises, make sure um, there is no way for him to escape um, if you think he's still in a particular area. Um, if not, check every single area, place, room, everywhere in the apartment or the house or wherever. Um, because they can they can literally be anywhere which is the worst part about the snake getting out is not them being out it's the simple fact that they can literally be anywhere there's literally pictures of people pulling their snakes from behind like their stoves they're in their couches they've gotten into the refrigeration unit and they're just it's I, I don't wish that on anybody um, and that's not something I want to deal with either so check everywhere um, be on alert for everything um, check a lot at night. Like I said, we all know snakes move around a lot at night. They go hunting. Um, they look for new hiding spots to cool down and they look for um, rat burrows or whatever they're looking for, which is when I found this guy um, coming out. And as soon as he saw me, he tried to poke his head back in and I'm like, I, I got you. So um, be on the lookout for any and everything. Hopefully this doesn't happen to anybody, um, but I feel like most reptile keepers, um, especially with a uh, large collection of snakes or reptiles in general, it happens eventually. Um, 
So I wanted to make this video just to kind of revisit the topic, number one, um, but remind you guys, number one, don't freak out. Um, I guess the last piece of advice I have is don't give up. Um, it can literally be months. It can literally, it can literally be months, weeks, whatever. Um, don't give up. Snakes can go a long time and they always, always, always pop up when you least expect it. Like I said, I hope it's not something that happens to anybody, um, but it does unfortunately happen. It just happened to me recently. So I wanted to make sure that I made this video to give my personal, you know, overview, I guess you could say on what you should, shouldn't do um, and how I found my snake. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was, like I said, it wasn't planned. So if it seems rushed, I'm sorry. Um, it's literally just something that happened yesterday and I wanted to record a video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, um, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Share, share an experience if you've ever lost a snake or one of your snakes has gotten loose. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay clean, stay healthy, stay excited.